Hello everybody, my name is Marty, short for Smarty Reads, and welcome back. Today I'm going to read a new book called High Five Mallory. It's written by Laurie Friedman and illustrated by Jennifer Callis. Before we begin, make sure you like this video, subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you know when I upload a new video. Also, share this video with your friends and family so they can watch me read as well. Other than that, let's begin. Hi, Fi Mallory. As I've done in the previous Mallory books, I will read I will read Ready or Not in one video, A Breakup, First Day Drama, Teacher Trouble, Weekend Woes, From Bad to Worse, Oh Brother, in separate videos. Let's begin. A word from Mallory. My name is Mallory McDonald. Like the restaurant, but no relations. I'm eight, I'm ten years old, and I had the most action-packed summer of my life. I planted a garden, fun, with my neighbor. I took an art class, super fun. I went on a trip with my family to the Grand Canyon, super duper fun. And I helped my best friends, Marianne and Joey, move to a new house across town. Not so much fun, because I was sad they won't be living next door to me anymore. Now it's back to school time in Fern Falls. Come Monday morning, Marianne, Joey, Chloe, Jennifer, and I will be starting fifth grade at Fern Falls Elementary. My brother Max and his girlfriend Winnie, who also happens to be Joey's and Marianne's stepsisters, jo Joey's sister and Marianne's stepsister, are heading to seventh grade at Fern Falls Middle School. This is the first year Max and I won't be at the same school. It's too bad we got along better than ever this summer, even though we still argued sometimes. I'm actually kind of bummed we won't be together at school, but I still think fifth grade is going to be awesome. There are lots of things my friends and I are excited to talk about. For the first time, we'll have home rooms, hopefully the same one, and we'll get to switch classes. Plus, I got a cell phone. Chloe Jennifer already had one, and so did uh, some other some of my other friends. But Marianne and Joey got them this summer too, which means now we'll be able to text each other. Even though school doesn't start for two more days, my phone is charged, my backpack is filled, and I've got a new back to school shoes in my closet. If you ask me, that's everything I need to make fifth grade the best year ever. Ready or not. It's Saturday morning, and since school starts Monday, I decided to, I decide, I have to decide what color to paint my nails. It's a big decision, because I know Marianne will want to paint hers the same color. I open the drawer in my bathroom, where I keep my nail polish collection, and try to decide on a color. Light blue, purple, dark green, I'm not sure. I take my cell phone out of my pocket and send a text to my best friend. Marianne doesn't text right back, which probably means she's having as much trouble deciding as I am. Or maybe she's waiting for me to get to her house so we can decide together. And then at the bottom, there's Mallory and Cheeseburger. Marianne, what color should we paint our nails? Is light blue too babyish for fifth grade? Purple or dark green, maybe? I don't know. We get together every year before school starts to make sure we're ready, and that's what we're doing today. I grab a few bottles of polish and stuff them into a bag. Then I put Cheeseburger back on my bed and give her a goodbye pat. I walk to the kitchen to tell Mom I'm ready to go. Someone is excited, says Mom when I walk into the kitchen. Marianne and I have a lot to do to get ready, I tell her. Mom looks at Max, who is sitting at the table. He's busy te texting, which means something he has been, which is something he has been doing a lot of lately. I'll be back in 20 minutes, Mom says to Max, but he doesn't look up. Are you texting Sam again, I ask him. He texted her a lot, her a lot on our trip to the Grand Canyon. I try to look over Max's shoulder, but he pulls his phone to his chest. That just confirms my suspicions. I give my brother a, uh, do you think it's a good idea to be texting a girl who isn't your girlfriend look? But Max ignores me and keeps texting. I follow Mom outside. I can't wait to get my schedule tomorrow. It's going to be so much fun to have home room. I really hope my friends and I are all in the same one, I tell her as we drive off. 
Mom laughs. I'm not sure you'll be together, but I'm happy to see you to see how enthusiastic you are. She says. I'm not sure why, but I'm extra enthusiastic about fifth grade. I just have a feeling it's going to be great. But when I get to Mary Ann's house, that feeling disappears as fast as butter melting on hot pancakes. I'm not the only person Mary Ann invited over. Hi, says Mary Ann. Zoe's here too. Great, I say. Part of me gets why Mary Ann invited Zoe. She lives a block away from the Winston's new house, and we've been. And we've always been friends with her. But the only people who ever, who have ever been part of our getting ready to go back to school sessions, have been the two of us. Plus, this is the second time I've seen Marianne since I've got back from the Grand Canyon. The first time was just a few minutes when she stopped by my house so I could give her the mini cactus I bought for her. And then there's Marianne, Zoe, and Mallory. Since I don't want it, to, uh, since I don't want to make it seem like I'm unhappy that Zoe is here. When we get to Marianne's room, I pull the polishes I bought from out of my bag. So, what color do you think we should paint our nails? I ask Marianne. Mar Marianne gives me a funny look. We don't have to. We're going to be in fifth grade. Our nails don't have to match. She shrugs. It's kind of babyish. I'm not sure if I should say we've always painted our nails the same color, or if I should agree that m matching nails is kind of babyish. But before I can say anything, I notice something on Marianne's wrist that I that hadn't been there the last time I saw her. Did you get a new bracelet? I ask. Ma Marianne smiles. Jo Zoe gave it to me. It's from California. Isn't it cool? She holds out her wrist for me to get a better look. My dad lives there," explains Zoe. "I spent the summer with him, and he took me to a market where you can design your own jewelry. When she talks, she holds up her wrist, and she wears the same kind of beaded bracelet that Marianne has on. Cool," I say. Marianne wasn't nearly as excited about the gift I bought back for her from the Grand Canyon. Cactus versus bracelet. Which would you rather have? I don't mind that she likes Zoe's present. What I don't get is why she doesn't want our nails to match. But she doesn't. But she. But she doesn't mind that she and Zoe are wearing the same kind of bracelet. Marianne and Zoe start talking about fifth grade teachers and who they want for homeroom. I can't wait until tomorrow when we get the emails for with our schedule," says Zoe. "I know you have to call me as soon as you get yours," Marianne says. I'm not sure if she's talking to Zoe or to Zoe and me, but as they start to talk, as they start to discuss what time they think they will get their emails, I feel like I'm not part of the conversation. I'm gonna go say hi to Zoe. I tell them. When I walk to his room, he's sitting on the floor organizing school supplies. Hey, he says, wanna help? Sure, I say and sit down next to him. So what's up with Zoe? I ask as I take the wrapper off a package of pencils. She and Marianne hung out a lot while you were away. She's pretty cool, jo Joey says. No one, everyone likes her, even Winnie. No way, I say with a smile. Joey laughs. We both know Winnie never likes any of his or Marianne's friends. As Joey and I start putting notebook paper in binders, Marianne sticks her head into Joey's room. We're going to make smoothies. Do you want one? I thought we were baking cookies. I say. Marianne and I always bake cookies before school starts, so we can take them in our lunches. We never made smoothies. Marianne looks at Zoe, who's standing beside her. Zoe's into healthy eating. That's what she did all summer in California. I'm trying to eat healthy too. Zoe smiles at Marianne like she's proud of her new habits. I'd rather drink the smoothies than orga organize school supplies," says Joey. "I don't want to be the only one who doesn't want one. Plus, smoothie smoothies taste taste good, and they're definitely healthier than cookies. I'll have one too," I say. As we walk into the kitchen, Joey Zoe stops and kn knocks on Winnie's door. "Want a smoothie?" she asks. "Sure," says Winnie. She comes out of her room and follows us into the kitchen. I can't believe I, what I'm seeing. Winnie never wants to do anything with Marianne and me, 
The last time we asked her if she wanted to see a movie, she said she'd rather spend a year alone on a des desert, desert island. Maybe Joey was right when he said Winnie likes Zoe. Or maybe she just likes smoothies. I don't know. I watched quietly as Marianne fills the blender with strawberries, bananas, and ice. Joey, Zoe adds apple juice, then blends everything together. After Marianne pours the mixture into a cup and passes them around, we sit at the table drinking our smoothies. When Winnie starts talking to Marianne and Zoe about back-to-school clothes and what she thinks would look cute on them, I'm even more surprised. It's one thing I want a smoothie, and it's a whole another thing for her to be so acting so friendly towards us. Finally, Joey says he want he has to finish organizing his school supplies, and Winnie goes back to her room. Why don't we catch up on Fashion Fran? I say. She promised she'd record the episodes that aired while I was gone, and then we watched them together. Marianne puts the empty smoothie cups over the sink before she answers. I'm kind of over Fashion Fran, she says. I've never liked that show, says Zoe, but I ignore what Zoe says. I can't believe what just came out of my best friend's mouth. I'm not even sure it is her mouth. I can't believe Marianne would, ev would ever say that she's over our favorite TV show. Zoe and Marianne and I go back to Marianne's room to hang out and look at stuff on her computer. But I can't focus on music videos or online games. All I can think about is that before I left on my trip, Marianne was my best friend. We like doing all of the same things. Now, Marianne is doing new things, like wearing beaded bracelets from California and drinking smoothies. And she's doing those things with Zoe. Thinking about it makes me feel sick to my stomach, like I drank spoiled milk and not a fruit smoothie. That feeling stays with me when Dad comes to pick me up. Are you girls ready for school to start? Dad asks when I get into the van. I nod. Marianne might be ready. I went to her house to get prepared, but I feel less ready than never. That's the end of that chapter. I'll see you next time when I read A Breakup. Bye, everyone.